Yee-ha! Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you guys are well. Boy, it is bloody hot in this room. So excuse me for being very shiny and sweaty but uh i just gotta say thanks to you guys you have given me some lovely comments honestly there have been such lovely comments and you give me some great tips as well and things to discover so a tick spring i mean there's been quite a few of you to be fair uh but a tick spring has said to um about this this place here it's a grave can you have a guess whose grave it might be who's recently d uh, died Sean, isn't it? Yes, you got it right. It's Sean's grave. Now, I'll tell you where I am. If you haven't seen it before, uh, it's here. You probably have seen it, I expect. Um, so let's have a little inspect and see what it says. Let's say Sean Maguire. Okay. Does he say anything? No. All right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, a tick spring um, also said about going to, to here. I, I've ringed it for your uh, pleasure and uh, and and he said go here he said go between 9 p.m and 3 a.m he said he won't spoil it but but something happens between those times and uh so we're definitely going to check that out next so this letter also this mysterious sermon letter this is what we found in um Annie Bethel and we saw that UFO which is quite crazy uh he said um also if you go to well if you read here it says peak of Mount Shan now if we go there around one o'clock or before one o'clock and there i've ringed it as well so you can see if we go there just before one o'clock um we might see another ufo or something so we'll do that as well just for the uh just for the thrills just for the laughs and someone else as well quite a few of you guys as well have said something about uh, you know the reverend said about a ghost uh they, he said that's yeah there's some of you who said that's true yeah it's uh, if you go in the blue water marsh when it's foggy now i don't know whether that's the same area that tick spring mentioned um but I'm guessing it might be because that's Blue Water Marsh. Uh, yeah, we'll see a ghost of a girl. So we got a lot of few. We got a few things to do. So first, let's set destination to find potentially a ghost. See you guys there. Okay. It's after 9 p.m. So I can have a little look around to see what I can find. Oh, this just feels, this feels really eerie. So this is my third night now. I haven't seen anything yet. But now we've got weird eerie music coming on. <laughs> okay, we, we are entering the, the fourth night. So it's a little bit more foggy. So fingers crossed we might see something. Did you hear them? Okay, it's fourth night. That scared the shit out of me. It's really eerie here. It's a bit foggy. Oh, I hear something over here. Who said that? Hello? Is it because I'm getting closer to it? There's no one here. Okay, I'll have another wander around. Didn't see anything, just heard a voice. I miss you. I miss you so much. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting. I 
I don't want to get too close, basically. But who is saying that? Right, it's really, really foggy now. <gasps> we see something? Get closer, we're not too close. We get too close, it, it seems to disappear. Wow. I'm sure how close we can go. She never loved you. She never did. She never loved you. She's gone. Okay then guys, I've uh, re been recording for nearly two hours. Um, I've caught the ghost on, a, on several occasions, um, but I haven't been able to get too close. Um, so I've got a couple of hours left until three o'clock in the morning. It's not foggy. This is me the last chance, and I'm gonna, otherwise I'm gonna just going to carry on towards uh, Mount Shan for the UFO. Uh, you know, I've seen it a few times, which is um, which is good. There is, there it is, there it is. That's a good one. You don't want to come back to me. Honest. He will do. I just know he will, Mother. I just know he will. Can she see me? Other way, horse. Okay, let's see if we can get closer. Wow. Excellent. Just as I was about to give up. That's one hour 53 I've recorded so far, guys. So yes, I think we uh, have have satisfied the ghost hunting. So excellent. Um, so let's go to Mount Sham. Um, so I've been told it's around here somewhere. So a bit north of, of Strawberry. So, all right, let's go there. Um, yeah, I'll see you there, guys. Okay, then, guys, I am on top of Mount Shan. Oh my god, look at that view. Um, so it's just the sun is setting, so let's wait till one in the morning and see if we can see a UFO. Madness, madness. <gasps> I think this is it, guys. Is that just a bright light? It's really bright. Wow, okay, I think it's gone. It's been and gone. That was a, that was a quick one. I don't think it helped too much because it was very cloudy, but... I guess that was the UFO. <laughs> I think we better get on with actual some missions now, I think. Right then, guys, what should we do now? So, I'm in Saint-Denis. Um, popped back here to have a look to see what we've got. We've got loads of missions. But what, one thing that has caught my eye, which I didn't notice before, was this Jim Boy Galloway. Now, we did him, like, way near the start. Um, so we're going to have to sort of do that at some point. Maybe, maybe not all of them. Oh my, I don't know if, I don't know if it's more to deal with, but it says here, you've dealt with all the gunslingers, go to Galloway and Levin with the findings. Right. Okay. So we will go to there at one point. I think for the time being, um, I'm intrigued what this question mark is because it's yellow. Um, so I'm going to go over to here. American fathers, Dutch mentioned that the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in Saint-Denis on behalf of Rain's Fall, the Native American chief. All right, well, we go there first. We'll do that. And then we'll maybe do a few, um, just some of the secondary missions, maybe that Galloway one. So yeah, let's go to this stranger here. Take a pamphlet. Learn all about our great religion. Mind how you go. the importance of safety in nature. Right. Let's have a look here. Someone's talking about... Um, Someone's selling something, is it? We, who said that? Hey, move it! Très bien, merci. Oh, who is it? Okay, here we go. Rejoice, for you are saved and already in paradise. Chelonia awaits you. you. Had the wisdom to understand it. Chelonia, 
America. They are the same thing. If savages could prosper here, how much better shall the white man do in this sacred place? We no greet him. more kings. We are all kings. Our prophet told us what this you want about? 100 years ago. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Say what? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is, not what life could be but what it is and it is very dangerous but with chelonianism it can be safe well it's okay. all in this book uh, am i boring you uh, a little i'm sorry have a wonderful day okay thank you very much for that read herein Do you want to be safe 1892 it is humbly hoped that every impartial reader will take these messages to heart and not be filled with knavery or folly or trepidation or jest or while he is okay i'm not reading all this um i might read it my own time or you guys can pause it i don't know what it's really about it's probably a load of rubbish and but there's a lot there <laughs> i know i want to get on with some actual missions so uh let's put that away all right let's continue this to this question mark Looks like it's getting late already. Alright, we're pretty much here now, then. We are here. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, do I know you? Mr... Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh. oh. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. What's... The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and... Punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Actually, that changes things. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. 
Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay. So meet Eagle Flies near Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Eagle Flies, what was it one called? Thunderstorm or something? Or a bit of rain? Bit of rain was it? Um, okay. So I guess that was that way up north, isn't it? Because we saw that we got we've seen that um um, that Indian settlement right up north. Yeah, so he's not on the map yet. So we might as well do something else we'll and let time pass. Um, so we might as well just do... Let's go to Valentine and do that Callaway. Jim Boy Callaway. Back in Valentine's. Oh, there's a, there's a Stranger mission here as well. Hmm. Hmm. I might do the Stranger mission first, guys. Only because. And, uh, and to be honest, I might as well give myself a... Oh, hello. Give us a quick shave as well. Hmm, okay, I think the stranger's downstairs, to be fair. Oh, here they are. Okay. Hello, guys. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my. These two again. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You. Maybe. But not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little <laughs> tap and watch him crumble. Uh... You sure about this? Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. My yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Okay, punch him again. Oh, punch him. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look they're, 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 they're only little punches, aren't they? Proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good Lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again. again. Right here. Really? <laughs> I'm do a proper punch. Oh. Free shot. Oh. There are any little punches he's doing. Hit girls, punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. What are these guys like? Felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Miner made a steal. Real. Oh! <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. What is wrong with you two? Come on. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Enough, gentlemen. Uh, yes, uh, I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam. Some steak. Good luck to you. Oh, brother. What have you to your heads? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm looking forward to seeing those guys again. I wonder what they're going to be asking for next. Anyway. Here we are again. We haven't seen these guys for ages in here. Uh, well, where are they? Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Really? They had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay then. Excellent. So, I wonder I if that river... Drink here, though. Get on to Sam Denis and have you some Sazerac. Mm, Sazerac. I can do. 
I don't know what the size of rack is. Um, on a riverboat. So I wonder, why the, I wonder if that's the one with the um, the poker. Hey. Anyway. That's where you're walking. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'll meet you guys back yep. in Saint Denis. <laughs> you ain't gonna be so pretty when I'm done. Okay then, guys. I did not realise that eagle flies and thunderstorm were so close. So we might as well do this one first, and then do Jimboy Galloway afterwards, because we are literally here. So there's no point going all the way back. And so let's go do this one here anyway, whilst we're here. Might as well save save travelling. Hello, heavy rain. What, what? You came. Of course, I came. Oh, so that's Eagle. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Okay, well, I think... If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Oh, shit. That was easy enough. That's, that was easy enough. Stop for the train. I think we got lucky then. Um, we didn't get any weapons. That's the only problem. We haven't got. Uh, I was going to hope we had our throwing knives. Let's have a look. We got. No. Hmm. Oh well. I didn't really prepare, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll be okay. Won't we? So sneaking, sneak in. Don't let anyone see us. Get whatever papers it is. Get out of there. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm? Right, it's a dangerous place. I've been here before. I didn't do very well last time I was in here. I did sneak, I did uh, nick that wagon. Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better That's get a right. move on then. I oh, don't think they're going to see us, aren't they? Dark anyway, which is good. It's in our favour. Hmm. Okay, well, we just have to. Um... Alright, I'm going to start loading up. Okay, we better get out of here then. Exit wagon. Can we, can we, can we kill him? Um, I might as well kill him anyway, just because. Why not? This makes one less person to uh, deal with. See it break the old neck. <gasps> oh, okay. I don't know, but right. Let's um. Let's hope he doesn't get seen by anyone. Where's the front door then? Oh, I thought there'd be a front door there, isn't? It? I think we've everyone's facing the wrong way, so I think we'll be all right. We have to go up the stairs. Um, have I got a throwing knife? Yes, we've got throwing knives there, so we can always use throwing knives if we need to. Poison knives, even better. But we don't want to kill anyone because we get bad honour. I'm going to have to do some fishing. Could we go up the ladder? It. I 
Right, we don't want to go up here. I don't think this is the way. We have to go back down again and... Damn it. Okay, let's go down again. Oh, we got the top of the roof. Okay. Okay. We're top of the roof. This is better. We could have also probably gone up there as well, come to think about it. Okay, I need I need to is there like a skylight or something? Yeah, there was a waste of time going in on this roof, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. Ah. Window open. God, I can hear, I can see, he's going to see me if I'm not careful. <gasps> How the hell do I get, is he going to see me? Oh, damn it. All right, I'm going to start loading up. Basically, this is the third attempt. On the second attempt, I went on the roof again, and uh, I kind of went over there, um, but uh, someone else saw me. So, third attempt. Uh, the only way I can, well, possibly go is here, in this door, which I haven't tried yet. This is like the obvious way to go. But it's almost so obvious, it's not the right way to go. Oh, there's actually guys in here, for God's sake. Right, he's walking around. All oh, right, this is this is good. This is really good. <laughs> okay, can we sneak past him? Is there some steps? There's there's some stairs at the end. Oh shit! Let's see. Let's go, go, go. Hope he doesn't turn around. Oh, it's got a marker there. It's got a marker there. Okay, 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 okay. Is he gonna see us? Is he gonna see us? Guess he's not. There's also somebody there as well. He's gone outside. Is he going outside? He's looking out the window. Right, there's the X right over this side. Stay looking out the window, mate. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. You've got to do the whole bloody horse ride. In the back of the, the, tr the trailer thing. It's a pain. Right, is it this door here or is it the last door from the last one? Yes. Right, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. There's gonna be a shooter. Oh! Uh, you must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Interrogate him, right? Let's beat him up there, shall we? Why be quiet? <laughs> yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Bretton? Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Come on. Oof. Danbury, think, man. Brutal, isn't Mind it? is a terrible thing to lose, especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. You're not saying anything. You got. It's here. It's here. Where? Where? Come on, I don't want to get out of here. I don't like it in here. Too many people. It's going to end up in a gunfight, gunfight in it. Right, take the file. Let's give it back to bird flies. Good, name is. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. 
Nope. Danbury. Be quiet, Tom. Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Okay, for the windows. This is where I want to go before. On the in, on from the outside in. Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now we won't tell you again. Yeah. The hell? Yeah. Oh, we gotta get out of here now. See, so I knew it'll end up again. Fight, it always does, doesn't it? Where's my horse? Oh my god! What's that bit there? What's the orange bit? We gotta go over there. Come on! Oh shit, there's so many of them! Come on, come on, come on, come on, keep running, keep running! Come on, Arthur! Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, they're all. Yes! Get off, get out of the way, my horse! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Well, that was a bit of fun. Always is going to end up in a shootout. Always does in these missions, isn't it? Oh god, they're coming! They're coming after us. Yeah, I can see that. Watch, who are you? You're eagle, um, eagle, in it. I quite like the idea of having a name called something like Snake. Snake and Eagle Shadow, or I don't know, Eagle. I have shot him. I think we've made, we've made it. I don't see any more of them. Yeah, because I shot them all. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't Eagle worry, flies. he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. That looks quite a big wad of cash, about $100 there. Eh? Thank you. Two hundred and fifty. That's all right. That's not bad at all, is it? And we got a silver there. American uh, mission complete. Let's have a look. See what we didn't do. Um, American Fathers Two. Arthur meets Eagle Flies outside Cornwall. Kerosene and tar, and prepares for break. There's a break in distillery port in the oil reserve at the Wapiti Reservation. Kill all the horseback pursuers during the escape. Okay. Okay. We didn't do that. Fine. Right, I reckon we should now go to um, Saint Denis and speak to who was it? Jim Boy Calloway. Right, let's do that. Whoa, hang on. The wagon, sir. Ah! This might Sons be a big one. Bitches. Sorry, fellas. Oh, sorry. Oh, God's sake. Right. Happy now. Can I go? Yes. Let's see what he gives us. We've got to get out of here because there's quite a few bodies. So we don't want to get seen. We should have worn our masks as well. Oh, you ain't going to like what happens next. Whoa. What, what, what are you doing? Oh 
was a witness. Oh, Christ almighty. That was a waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, stop. Right, let's carry on. That was a waste of time. Um, there's someone else there now. Let's just get out of here. Let's just carry on back to Saint Denis before we get into any proper trouble. How you doing, boy? Yeah. We got the bastard. Now kill him. Oh God's sake! I got, I got no dead eye left. Oh god, no more. Right, there's some behind us, so let's have some of this. Is that it? So you should mess with Arthur Morgan. Right, let's keep going. I can't bother to loot him. I've just been being lazy, <laughs> basically. I love this place. This is beautiful, this place. Especially when the sun's shining and uh, after a thunderstorm. What's happening here, guys? Let's have a look what's happening here. Something's happening. Just let the law handle this. Don't worry. That's how a lawman solves a problem. Now okay, that's nice. what I call a good day's work. There's another guy there, I think. Oh, they're all they're all running away. Okay, good 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 work, officer. <laughs> Carry on. We are here. Should be a lovely So that's the same boat we were on before. Which we robbed. Um where where is it? Yeah, it looks lush. Let's go. Let's go back on it. Ask for Callaway. Hey, I'm looking for boy Callaway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir. They're here. Well, they go on? This time, Mr. Callaway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. Oh, thank you. If you're quick. You might catch him sober. Oh, my Hello. friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> And I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn. Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Oh, damn you, Zero Eleven. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I. Them says I didn't. I. I'm an what? old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Eh? Yeah. 
Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, no, no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, Slim he Grant? killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. Oh. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All uh, right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Uh, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you I do like off, eh? I kind of like that fella. <laughs> what was his name called? Slim... Slim something? Morning. Okay, and Captain Slim Grant. Slim Grant in Ansburg. Hey, Alright, well, let's do that then. I bet it's going to be a bit more, bit more harder this time. Right, we've got a long way to ride. So, yes, we might as well ride there, of course. We will always ride to places. Um, yeah, I'll, go, I'll meet you there unless something happens, um, unless something happens on route. Who said that? What? Did someone just go? Psst? Where did the telephone go then? Was that you? Yeah, I'm low, yeah. Sir? Did someone open the tree? Oh, it's this woman here. Oh dear. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave! Go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint-Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. You can make plans of this game. I was going to go do that Slim Grant, but... uh I'll yes. tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. Okay. I know those men! I shot on their bar! You shot on their bar? Right here. We stay behind here! Okay. Quick. I'm coming in. <laughs> we are away. Come now. Follow me. What is this guy like? You, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. But on the bar? Come on. My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Remind me to avoid that place. Oh dear. This place, this place, though. Back, back. See money lenders. Where? We go another way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? We go through here. What's this? <gasps> Quickly! Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, it's not going like that. I knew him. You should have shaved or something, at least. Do that again. Now get moving, come on. Yeah, you think he would be look like a woman more if he had a shave? You ain't so. None of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds? The holy nefers. We go through there. Thing is, paint is really worth something when the um, the painter, the artist is dead, unfortunately, isn't it? Where are you going, pretty lady? 
Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> What are you looking at? Oh, shit. Money borrowing, wife stealing. You mm. sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Look at you, pretty little thing. <laughs> I love boys. Come on. <laughs> Come on back now, baby. Can I see she's a, well, he's a guy. You see everyone checking her out as well. You see everyone looking at. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. So is this it? Is this goodbye? We're not going to see him again. His little storyline ends. <sighs> we made it! Let's go. Oh, no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. I got him. He's out here. Uh, more friends? <gasps> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to. Sorry, I didn't want to. Oh, they got guns. Keep them away from me. I think I'm gone. Just kill him. I can't believe they got knives. I didn't want to sh get my gun out, really. Charles, come on. You better hope this ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. Not our hat, but. <laughs> oh, God, Arthur's a bit bruised. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they good, don't like you in the trip. islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. So random. I don't know what the hell went on then. Oh, God. We want... Oh, for... Right, let's get out of here. Um, let's go on the ship. <laughs> Oh, let's see what. Oh, oh flipping out. I did. Yeah. We... They started on me. They wanted Arthur Morgan. Well, we actually wanted now. Oh, for God's sake, really? Right, we're gonna get out of here then, and then we'll um, decide. We'll probably carry on up north and find get that slim grant. All right, we are finally here, finally. And I don't think we've really been around this town. I think we popped in here when we came out of the mine. Never listen to me. It's like oh. talking to a goddamn wall. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more. Okay? Just curious. Let's have a look. Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it well, caves in again? Dangerous business well, working in the mine. Times already. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. And who's going to change things around here? You? Jameson? He'll work you to death. I've had enough. I'm going to go put food on the table. Well, well, go on then. See if I care whether you come back. <laughs> He's just scared. 
good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. Okay. All right, we should have changed our hat, really. Let's go and um, change our hat. And... Let's go and go into this over in here. Sheriff, okay. Is this him here? You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking oh, for Snapple. Oh, no. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. Yes, good luck. So we got to go to Beaver Hollow, then. Locate Slim Grant at the outlaw camp. So where's that? All right, so it's over here. So it's not far. It's not far. It's not far, actually. Beaver Hollow. Okay. Oh, is that over there? Oh, it's over there. I think we can yeah, I can see a camp. Okay. Yep. Let's get off our horse. Oh, the bad is. We're all outdoors. Let's kill them all then. God, my shots are terrible lately. Oh, they got him tied up. You made short work of them. Yes, we did. I'll tell you what, Grant, you I'm just... Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> well, it's like I'm here, otherwise you'll end up being slimmer. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, loot this lot and then I'm going to uh, untie him. Right. Not much really there. Uh, less than tie Slim Jim. Uh, Slim Jim. <laughs> um, Slim Grant. Okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. I'm so hot. Son. Uh, uh. Deliver Slim Grant to the drop off point. Okay. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. Ah! See what the drop-off point is. Okay. Oh, that's not too far. Okay, nice. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was. Who's that guy? Got so short with me. We beat him up. Oh, he's alright. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. So is Callaway going to have like a... A gun off, what do you call it? Not called a gun off, what do you call them? Standoff, you know, with the guns. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. This is it, down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. That waterfall. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. It's that's a, I haven't been here, I don't think, it's waterfall.
Now where's Cal where's Callaway then? He's not here. <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in '82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one. Didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you. In the back. That was that was terrible. In the back. Well, that settles that then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Really? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! You can't shoot him, surely. What? Ooh. Come on. Flip it now. Wow. Shit! Yes. Shit indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Should we shot his gun out of his hand, no, maybe? No, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm free? happy. You're free. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. <sighs> I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant, fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. All right, this place is lovely. I wouldn't mind having a little explore around here. Mission complete, the noblest of men and a woman. Okay, the noblest of men and a woman for Callaway wants to settle an old score with State Marshal Slim Grant. Excellent stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call that video there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you on the next episode. Until then, take care.